Today I'm going to be showing one of the many ways to recycle old t-shirts. This is uh, to make making cleaning cloths and this, this is one I've cut and have washed but as you can see it's rolled tightly. This makes it very difficult to use because you try to unroll it and sprung you want to roll it and it rolls right back up so the way to stop that is to sew on some yarn to the court to the inside of the curl so here i have some yarn you could get creative with the colors so you want to basically Try to get it as flat as you possibly can. And then clamp down the presser foot. And then... Go like that. And like work the thread, under, the yarn under it. And start by hand the first few stitches. Now I'm using a... Uh, let's see, can I... Just go to the hand... There's the stitch, but it's actually the needle position should be in the middle. But I'm using stitch A on the Seamaster Model 7, 1700. Stitch A is a, just a zigzag. A basic zigzag, as wide as it goes, and mid-length. I'm actually making a giant, a giantly long chain of these and then cutting them apart later. And you can get, you don't have to use, you can create it with the thread color and the yarn. You could sew around the edge. I'm just sewing on the in the whole around the entire edge. Now, we gotta do the other edge of them, so I'm going to find scissors. So now I'm going to turn around and do the other side, but first I gotta do a one that's already been either hemmed, like this one has, or decurlized already. Had this process of plot done to it. So here we have the string. So you can just do this and make a banner if you wanted to with like triangles. Okay. 
Okay. And then you just feed them through again. They sometimes do curl a little bit, but not nearly as bad as Unfinit, but they would without the stitching, the, the yarn on them. Now we could take that off. And cut them apart. And here they all are.